and I'm proud. Say it loud. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. <laughs> What's up YouTube back with another for your mother so today is chit chat story time I was like do I want to say this don't I want to say this I don't know um, hold on let me on this track Whew. this here do you guys see it this Evian oh it's bomb it's good for just when you're feeling dry and it's good for like setting makeup. I don't have any makeup, I'm just rocking my black lip. Like I said, I'm gonna rock that all, you know, February. Um, Cause it is February and it is Black History Month. And I am wearing my Black by Popular Demand shirt. Which brings me to my video, I'm sorry. The hair, messy, listen. I'm not getting my eyebrows done. I showed y'all guys my eyebrows the last time. They are a mess, but they need a little bit more hair before I decide to go and get them done. But I'm going to get them done coming up at the end of this week. So right now I have a bang and a messy bun and curls. And this is the Nisha hair mixed with a false bang. This is just a random bang. And this is the Nisha wig. I will this time remember to uh, insert the picture because I just realized that I forgot. I'll insert it over here somewhere so you guys can see. It's a full lace front. I think it's full lace frontal. I know it's a lace front wig, but it's just too much hair to wear it like that. But anyway, so this is how I'm rocking it. <coughs> me, 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 me. Okay, so let's get into the video, shall we? So this happened on Friday. Um, now a little backstory. My girlfriend slash coworker, colleague, or whatever, has this same black by popular demand in a sweatshirt. She wore it a few weeks ago, or whatever the case is. Now we have, I'm sorry, we have two supervisors. A white supervisor, I'm sorry, <clears throat> is that politically correct? A Caucasian supervisor, and we have a black supervisor, African American supervisor, or whatever you wanna call her, colored supervisor, okay? <laughs> Um, so again, we have two supervisors and we roll up to different people. She rolls up to the black, I mean, like they're obviously both of our supervisors, but when it comes to like our plan development and things like that, we roll up to different people. She rolls up to the black supervisor. I roll up to the, uh, Caucasian supervisor, but they're both still my supervisor. If that makes any sense. I don't know if how your guys, um, employment is set up, but that's how ours is set up. We have two supervisors and we have two team leads. Okay. So anyway, my girlfriend wore her Black by Popular Demand sweatshirt, and I wasn't there, like I was there that day, but I wasn't there when she got called to the office. So she got called to the office. We leave, me and her leave at 3.30 p.m. every day. She got called to the office, I'll say like 1.30-ish or something like that. So the whole day has passed. We get there at like 6.50 a.m., 6.40, 6.30 sometimes a.m. Our store time is actually 7 a.m., but we get there early to relax, get ourselves together, eat breakfast, blah, 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 blah. So she gets called into the office, and she comes back out fuming with an attitude. Long story short, the supervisor told her she can't wear the shirt. She has to either turn it inside out or take it off. So she decided to take it off and spread it across her chair. So y'all guys are still gonna see it when you walk past my chair. So like I said, she was fuming. She's expressing her anguish to us. She expresses her irritation to our black supervisor and the black supervisor says out of her mouth, no, no, no. Um, Cause the supervisor, the black supervisor wasn't there that day. She happened to be absent, conveniently, coincidentally, whatever. Um, so when she expressed her anguish to her when she came back, she said, oh, no, 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 um, but just save that for Fridays because our dress code is business casual. They, you know, they would prefer to be more business, of course, heels, pencil skirts, things like that. I get it. I'm fine with that. Um, but on Fridays, we have the option to wear screen print tees or t-shirts or sweatshirts or whatever. Um, school uh, paraphernalia, things like that. So again, this has already been established by our black supervisor, okay? 
So I had no qualms with wearing my shirts because number one, I am black. I am popular. I am in demand. It's Black History Month, okay? So again, I wore this on Friday, the Friday that just passed. Now we got to leave early on Friday because we're having slow work days, blah, blah, blah. I was leaving at 2 p.m., 2 p.m. because I had some award time that I was able to cash in and leave. I've had this shirt on since 6.50 a.m. Okay, I walked in with this shirt and uh, if you can tell my personality through this film, I'm fluttering around all day, flicking and flacking and talking. I have to go to the bathroom, I have to go to the cafeteria, to the desk, whatever. I have this shirt on all day. So at 1.50 p.m., I told y'all guys I was leaving at 2 p.m. 1.50 p.m., the black supervisor, she's in a meeting, she's nowhere to be found. Now, she's already gave the okay on Fridays. The white supervisor, I'm sorry, excuse me, Caucasian, I want to be politically correct. She pulls me and was like, um, uh, can I talk to you a minute? Now, remember, you guys, on my last video where I said they had me fucked up at work, I done laid her ass out already, so I'm just like, Oh, but I'm, you know, I had a great day. You know, I had a little bit more enthusiasm, preppy. So I'm thinking, she, I'm honest to God thinking she's pulling me in the office to let me know, oh, you know, I, I see you're taking heat to what we said. Um, you know, you had a, a great huddle today. Like, that was good, blah, blah, blah. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. This lady calls me in there to talk to me about my shirt. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm, I'm bringing you in here to talk to you about your shirt. I said, oh, okay. Um, because again, I feel comfortable wearing my shirt now that the other supervisor okayed it. But I'm, you know. So she's like, yeah, um, you can't wear that shirt. I said, well, actually, Blase said that it's okay to wear our shirts on Friday. If you guys would have seen this broad's face and her body language, I'm so mad I did not take my phone in there to record it. I started, to, I told myself anytime I have to go in the office with her, I'm going to start taking my phone in and recording her because for some reason, you know, her perception of what I might say is totally different than what I actually say or whatever. Her body language in her mouth was like, <clears throat> excuse me, she was like, not that shirt. Not that shirt? What does that mean? I said, um, what is wrong with my shirt? I'm confused. Again, it's 154 probably at this point. I'm leaving at 2 p.m. I don't have the energy and the fight in me to go off. And I feel like I have a tarp on my back. And I almost feel like she was like, yeah, this is how we're going to get her out right here. Because I know she about to, fit. I know she finna snap out about this shirt. Devil, I'm not about to let you get me uh, laid off, retired, dismissed about no shirts. I'm not, ma'am, sis. So I was like, um, excuse me, what's wrong with my shirt? And she was like, the messaging. Again, if you're late to the video, it says black by popular demand. It does not say I am superior and you honkies is inferior. I am the, the 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 woman and you honkies are trash. Like it it don't say nothing of the sorts, ma'am. It says black. I'm black by popular demand, which is a play on words of back by popular demand. B-A-C-K by popular demand. Honey, I am black, I am popular, and I am in high end demand. I'm like, why does my blackness offend you guys so bad. Whoever you guys are, like, and again, it was 1.56 at this point, and I'm leaving at 2. But I really wanted to say, um, whoever's offended, can you point them out so I can, you know, discuss my blackness with them? However, the last time I laid her out when I got called in the office for some BS, and she was trying to make me so angry, and I said, what you are not going to do is push this angry black woman narrative on me. So I said, you know what? I'm not about to snap out because then I would be proving her right that I'm this angry 
black woman and I already let her know out of my mouth, you are not about to push this angry black woman narrative on me. I said, okay, now in my mind, I'm like, like I'm fighting, but I'm like, one Mississippi, two. She was like, so, um, and again, what's wrong with this shirt? And I started to follow up with, no, actually she said this shirt specifically is fine for Fridays. But I was like, you know what, it's, I need to learn to pick my battles. This is not my battle, Lord. I'm not finna go back and forth with this lady, okay? So she, and I said, okay, mm, okay. You know, just like that, she's like, yeah, and I don't, I'm being generous by adding the please in there. I don't know if she put the please in there or not, but I know she said, and don't wear that shirt again. Now, I don't know if she said, and please don't wear that shirt again, or don't wear that shirt again. Oh, I'm sorry, let me rewind. When we even walked in, she's like, I don't know if you, um, you know, if you were here when Aaliyah wore her shirt. Who? I'm sorry, I'm saying names. Um, when your, your co-worker wore her shirt. And again, I'm thinking to myself, that's exactly what the outrage was about. And that's why we were given permission specifically. And our black supervisor said, and if anybody has a problem with it, you come tell me. These are her words, not mine. So she's like, and you're going to have to take that off. I said, what? No. Um, you forgot I'm leaving at two, right? I'm about to leave. I'm, I'm not taking anything off. I'm sorry. Um, um, well, mm. Well, cover it up. With okay, girl, you done? I gotta go, sis. Because it's time for me to exit before I snap out. And you really have a reason to be offended by my blackness. <sighs> so I go back to my seat. Now, my coworker um, who leaves with me, she used more award time than me. So she got to leave, you know, like 30 minutes before me, hour, whatever, whatever. So we're talking through our uh, group text. Me, her, and the other brown girl that's there. And she's like, what? Oh, I bet I wear my stuff next Friday. And as a matter of fact, I'm buying more stuff. <laughs> Why does our blackness offend y'all? I mean, and again, on Friday, we had afros, black lips, shirts. So I guess maybe it was a little bit too much for them. But again, what messaging are you referring to, ma'am? I mean, and there was there were other items that I was looking to purchase. I seen one that says black educated and petty. <laughs> That's me. Hello, educated, black, petty. Um, I seen one that said black and smart, um, smart and black. Like I've seen a whole bunch of different play on words, and I wanted to buy all of them and just keep on Fridays, tear the Fridays down, even beyond this month, just tear the Fridays down. And in the meantime, before I got those shirts, I was just going to keep wearing this shirt every Friday and switching it up with a different blazer or a different this and a different that. And again, ma'am, I've had this shirt on since 6.50 a.m. It is 1.58 <laughs> p.m. And I'm leaving at 2. <sighs> if I had the time and the energy and I could afford to lose my job, I would probably pursue it because I feel in my heart that this is some type of um, I don't know, like I I just feel that it's not right legally or morally. But again, I don't have the time, I don't have the patience, and then not even that, the higher ups are also Caucasian, okay? So they may or may not feel away. And in this Donald Trump era that we are living in, blatant racism is a trend now, it's a fad now. So who's to say that these higher ups won't want to flex their um their power and make an example I, I don't know but we shall see if we are going to talk about this in our monday huddle or not <laughs> yes this is me exercising my hand you know because i don't talk over people i will politely raise my hand um but it definitely needs to be addressed and the reason that i didn't 
reach out to my black supervisor is because number one, I was leaving in 2.2 seconds. Um, I ain't really feeling her right now anyway, although she did, you know, say that. And I just, she wasn't even, like I said, she's been in a meeting this entire time. So again, she's been on the floor all day, but conveniently and coincidentally when she's not around, not on the floor, you come and talk to me. Why you ain't talk to me? When we were in the huddle and I'm sitting proud in the huddle, stating my cases, proving my points, giving my opinions, giving my suggestions, because I'm extremely vocal, if that's not obvious. Honey, I'm sitting like this. Crown me. I'm, I'm sitting, I'm walking over like this. Black and frown. And you choose to wait till 1.50 p.m.? <sighs> Get under my feet, devil. Get under my feet, devil. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Like I said before, when God wants you to move, he makes you uncomfortable. Jesus, you know I am uncomfortable. You know I have to, like my tongue is bleeding from biting my tongue. And not just this incident, just from incidents all, like all the time. Like there's always some little digs and some little underhanded sarcasm and things like that. I'm not here for it, but I'm going to go in skinning and grinning. Because like I said, and right now I'm not in a position to just be like, I need my job. I have grown bills and a growing child, okay? So yeah, I just had to come on here and vent, give a quick story time about um, <sighs> corporate white America, I guess. Um, entrepreneurship is obviously the goal because I, I just I can't even take it but this is where I'm going to love you and leave you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it you know opened your eyes well not even opened your eyes our eyes should be open hello once Trump got in office our eyes are like should be open nobody should be everybody should be woke even if it's fake woke, you should be woke. Nobody should be sleeping on what's going on right now. Like, whew, okay, because I'm going to keep going on. I'm going to keep going on. I'm going to start ranting again. But um, this is where I'm going to love you and leave you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you do not, if you don't care for it, um, if you are a part of the problem, give it a thumbs down. Comment. Let me know what the issue is. Um, you know. And um, share, share with your friends, your family, those you know, those you don't know. And uh, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, bye. We thank you again so much for watching. Please make sure that you like, you comment, most definitely subscribe, and share. Until next time.